Innovate UK's Net Zero Heat Programme is driving faster innovation so the UK prospers from moving completely off gas for heating, space and water in buildings. The Net Zero Heat cohort are UK companies that will play a huge role in delivering this and we're working collectively to overcome barriers to their growth and scaling out. We'd like to share their stories. The company was the idea of my father, who'd worked for 27 years in the Royal Navy and Admiralty Research Laboratories, and he had an idea to use his expertise in ultrasound uh, to develop something for ships which would enable them to be more safe. And today that equipment is on nearly 20% of the entire world's uh, shipping fleet. During COVID-19, the government um, reached out to UK industry and in, in its sense UK science to ask it what it could do to support the pandemic. And we through UK Research and Innovation and Innovate UK suggested that the principles in fluid dynamics could be transferred to airflow dynamics and we invented uh, the world's first portable instrument to monitor infection control. The portoscanic airtight uh, evolved from the original instrument, which was the portoscanic COVID-19. This was developed specifically to help the NHS to try and control the uh, airborne virus within hospital buildings. So we're looking at spotting leaks in buildings uh, De detecting where they are and quantifying them. And that's a really key problem, I think, if we're trying to achieve net zero, because so much energy is lost through heating homes. And you can look at innovative ways of heating homes, but ultimately the best way of doing that is ensuring that all of that energy is actually going into heating the home rather than uh, being lost through the building fabric. So at Cold Tracker, our technology is ergonomic. It's lightweight, it's battery powered. You could put it in a backpack. You can walk to the site or you can take public transport. There are no complicated logistics. That's why it is faster, better and cheaper. Uh, the Eureka moment was realising that we could look at anywhere from Canary Wharf to one of its largest skyscrapers and see that we could test that permanently uh, if need be, but certainly um, as part of an overall uh, engineering approach to net zero through to uh, Buckingham Palace or a normal residence or a, a clean room, a laboratory. The net zero heat cohort has been a very important component. Being able to interact with other like-minded individuals, with other disciplines, to learn from them will help us to be more focused in what we are doing and will also help us to collaborate with others so that we can come up with better solutions for all. I think it gives you a larger voice as well. Um, just, just one small company trying to speak about issues um, can be powerful, but if you have others who are like-minded, then it, then it increases that. So I'd say that, that by us being part of that net zero cohort, it, it showed uh, that government and UK science, UK industry, can share a national objective and put together the, all of the frameworks required to achieve those things. So I think it's remarkable. And again, I'm very, very grateful.